Rambo movies aren't just known for gratuitous violence and death. They're known for the iconic ways in which that murder and mayhem is committed. If Rambo is doing murders, you can bet he'll be wearing a headband, it firing an LMG, and using a humongous knife. Those three things are what make up the DNA of the Rambo challenge. Headbands are easy. Yeah, how's that? Yeah. But using only a knife and a hip-fired LMG to get a win in Warzone 2? That's bordering on impossible. Thankfully, there's one attachment that puts this challenge into the realm of plausible. I guess that's what makes it a challenge, huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if we use this? What if we use the canted laser? That's okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think, I, yeah, I think this is, I think this is more than fair. Strongholds have gone through a few different iterations during Warzone 2's short and painful tenure. This Call of Duty's next generation battle royale experience but their strategic value in the chain of victory has not. A free loadout, continuous UAV, and a key to the black side are reason enough to try and capture one every game. But as you'll see, landing directly on the stronghold isn't always the best play. Hey, look, it's our gun. With the floor loot saken in hand, it was time to go take the stronghold. It's Timmy. With Timmy tenders out of the way, I was free to capture the stronghold and get my loadout. It wouldn't be long before I'd have a chance to use it. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, excuse me. That was insane. If this were the real world, I'd have already done enough murders to make it into a crime docu-series on True TV. But this isn't the real world. This is Rambo, being faithfully recreated in Warzone. And I'm not done till I get a win. Nothing increases your chances of victory as much as securing the black site. It too has undergone its fair share of changes in the last five seasons. Historically, this was the number one destination for an endless supply of AI designed seemingly with one purpose in mind. Ruin everything. No, I died to an AI! I died to a legitimate AI, bro! No! But one thing hasn't changed. The black site is overpowered. So with key in hand, I take the scenic route over to the black site but I'm not the only one interested in all those goodies. Oh, somebody started it. As I make my way downstairs, I can hear the sounds of struggle as the in-game bots fight with their real life counterpart. In a perfect world, I can third party this guy while he fights the juggernaut and secure the black site. But the longer I wait, the higher the likelihood that I'll get third partied myself. Oh my god, die! That was quick and easy. I'm probably not in any danger at all. Need mid count rounds! Okay, just a quick note at what's going through my head at this point. All of the audio cues I've been getting have been telling me that someone is coming down a lot of stairs above me. But the moment I heard that minigun spin up, which I know for a fact is on the stairs below me, it didn't take a ton of mental gymnastics for me to just assume I got some bad audio and make a decision to switch from the perceived threat above to the definite threat below. After analyzing the footage, the truth is there was a guy above and below, so I was probably screwed anyway. But I still like my decision here to use quick movement and melee against the slow spool up time of that minigun despite the result. Oh, come on! There's no way, bro! I don't entirely understand why, but I've always been really good in the gulag. Maybe it's because the whole thing is over before my ADHD has a chance to get distracted by something else. I don't know. But if there was a gulag-only tournament, sheesh, sign me up. Fried! Fried! The perfect reset doesn't exist. You'll always be at least a little worse off than you were before you died. But in the pursuit of perfection, you can always achieve greatness. And this is looking like a great reset. I've got my free loadout in the black site, a few boxes to loot, and a permanent UAV to give me the upper hand should anyone attack my mid-game fortress. I alert saves me again, and this guy's pushing. He's aggressive. Oh, I couldn't even see him. I get some good shots on him coming up the ladder. Normally I would probably reach out again from the ledge, but the introduction of this sniper on the train station and the fact that this gun is a little unwieldy are reason enough to pull back and let him come to me. And look at that, the pitter-patter of his feet heading up that ladder again, falling right into my trap. UAV deployed. Advanced UAV? This must be the guy from earlier that was on top of me in the stairwell. That's not what I meant. 
Based on this guy's movement and decision making, I have to assume he's decent. I have the positional advantage, but I'm a heavy underdog in movement and ADS speed. He's trying to get me to chase, and if I get caught running out in the open with my gun up, I'm dead. We're both just waiting for the other to make a mistake. If only I could somehow taunt him into pushing. Bro, stop being mad, boy. Just come, bro. You come on. I bet. Oh, that's cute. He thinks he's that guy. His ego's about to write a check that his gameplay can't cash. The elevator ding. Someone else is here. With confidence coursing through my veins, I know that fresh loot pile in the hallway will draw my prey in close. Oh, double ramboed! With great zone position in the late mid game and my permanent UAV Over giving here. me targets, I've got no reason to move and a burning desire to test the limits of this completely useless but oddly effective Saken build. That worked. I've got that feeling. You know the one I'm talking about. When you're in that flow state and you know I'm going to win this, nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong! Being a content creator is the best job I've ever had, and it's not even close. There is a huge list of pros that come from being self-employed, but as a father, working from home and seeing my kids all the time is by far my favorite. With that being said, when one of those kids is homesick from kindergarten and comes into my office looking like she just got mugged by the Easter Bunny, I'm on daddy duty before I'm on Rambo duty. Even though it only took me a minute and 24 seconds to grab three different snacks for her to choose from, in my head, with the challenge on the line, it felt a lot longer. As I sat back down with the gas nipping at my heels, I still felt like I was destined to win. We got this, bro but I would have to survive one of the most painfully awkward rotations of my life if I was going to make it to the end game. That didn't work. No big deal. I'll just go around. I've got half a gas mask and plenty of height. Well, your shoot. <laughs> hmm. That didn't really go the way I planned. Not pulling the shoot's probably going to be what kills me here. Oh my god, you get no momentum out of that. That was painful to watch. I know. There's less than 20 people standing between me and a win. A win that would undoubtedly bring this video official recognition as the sixth movie in the Rambo franchise. I just have to keep a cool head and avoid dumb gunfights. Hey, I know your ghost sitting in the gas is right on top of you, but that guy's almost inside. You should shoot at him so he knows you're here. You know those car accidents that you just can't look away from? Yeah, this is gonna be like that. was also painful to watch. I'm clearly a little frazzled by the amount of luck required to get me through these last two rotations. But I've got some cover, I'm ghosted, and the only guy that knew I was over here is already dead. Lesson learned, no more dumb gunfights. See that guy? The one that's pretty far outside the comfortable range of your gun? You should shoot at him. Hmm, that guy might be a problem. Maybe he doesn't see me. Well, it was a good run. Not only does he see me, he's decided that today was gonna be the day he hit all of his shots. Even if I can somehow make it to those rocks. There's still five guys left, and two of them are in LTVs. Is this is in Hollywood. I'm not that guy. Am I?
1v1. Oh yeah! Sick kid. Doesn't matter, bro. I'm him. I'm him.com slash me. Let's go. Comment down below if you've got a challenge you think I should try. Thanks for watching.